Guys, now we're going to review Dr. No. We're, I'm, we're go, I'm, yeah, I'm starting off my James Bond reviews, and I'm starting off with the first ever James Bond film. I'm doing this by actor, so I'm going to do Sean Connery this week. <laughs> Next week, I'll do Roger Moore. So, Dr. No is a film that came out in 1962. It is the first James Bond film based on the novel of the same name by Ian Fleming, and is directed by Terrence Young. And is distributed by Eon Productions and United Artists. And in this film, James Bond is sent to Jamaica to investigate the disappearance of a fellow British agent. The trail leads him to the underground base of Dr. Julius No, who is plotting to disrupt an early manned space launch with the radio beam weapon. Although this is the first Bond book to be made to the film, Dr. No was not the first Ian Fleming novel. Casino Royale was. So what I think of the first James Bond movie. Boy, this movie is awesome. <laughs> this movie is awesome. <clears throat> Great. It's fantastic. This is how d you start off James Bond. This film was great. <clears throat> Sean Connery, perfect choice to play James Bond. <clears throat> he was great. I loved him. I buy him as James Bond. Especially when he said, said the introduction, when he says, Martini, shaken, not stirred. I love his introduction. And I love the, I lo just love everything about, about this film. And this movie has left a big legacy. We have Global James Bond Day, which happened on October 5th, which 50 years after the release of the film, which is now 53, 4 years, I think. And this movie has left a legacy on other films. This is the first of 24 James Bond films. And this movie was only made for $1 million, and that is fantastic. Acting is great. The first Bond girl, Honey Ryder, she is hot. She is awesome. And this movie left a big legacy. It's, uh, it's, this movie has been parody, spoofed. Other films like Spy Hard, Carry On Spy, the Austin Powers series. <laughs> Everything. So yeah, this film left a big legacy behind. The action is really great. I love the action sequences and... For one million, one point one million dollars, this movie did quite well, and I love the cinematography. The James Bond theme is awesome, and also Noah, I have something to tell you. Whenever you do a James Bond movie review, like Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale or Skyfall or the other James Bond movies, make sure you put them in your James Bond review playlist. I don't mean to criticize you, I'm just reminding you. <clears throat> but yeah, the script is very strong. The score is awesome. I love the score. The score has been redone. But this movie is one of the best movies I've ever seen. One of the best spy movies I've ever seen. And Dr. No, without a doubt, is going to get a better than Vampire Diaries. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the very first James Bond movie. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Who the heck will dislike Dr. No? Later, guys.